Korean pokey post. Let's go. Gotta catch up all Pokemon fans, welcome to another Playscape Games video, and oh my goodness, I you have no idea how hyped I am. Um, it's Pokey Post. it's been so long since we've opened up all of the mail, we've got like two weeks worth of mail to show you crazy things from Japan, Korean stuff, like, oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait, and at the end of the video, just because we always do, we're going to open up some extra bonus, like little booster packs, we got, uh, <laughs> we got some Fusion Strike packs to open at the end, so hopefully... Uh, we can get something WTF epic from those at the end, but to start off with, we've got this beautiful thing from Korea. So this was from the lovely um, uh, Camillo Oliver Kate. Uh, he is a lovely man from Chile, and he was studying in South Korea, and he got me this awesome, uh, nice gift. Um, I'm not, I've no idea what a Hanbok edition is, but I just thought I'd, I don't know if you can actually see it because of the lighting. It's quite, it's quite peach, but there's all these like cool little designs on it. Can we see it on the back? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of taken, but you can see like you've got these cool little designs on the back, and uh, yeah, these are absolutely amazing. So we're going to open this up. The I don't know what Hanbok edition three is. I, don't, I haven't seen number one or two, but open these up and have a look at this. Look at those beautiful Korean Pikachu's. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? Um, I have no idea like what these are representing or you know what kind of value these things have but obviously it's a gift and i'm going to keep them with my and we have a plushes so i'm very excited to add these to my collection big thanks to those big thanks to uh, camillo for grabbing these from south korea which is awesome so you've got his like little decal of the flowers and a little little bow there and his cool little hat and more flowers in there and then they just sit nicely in the you know in the um in the box like in the box like this so you can you can show still show you the back of the box but then you've got the Got them on display like this. It was really awesome. Thank you so much, Camillo, for those. And we also got another really big box. This one was from Asia, but not from um, Japan. I just thought I'd show you how epic the box is. You probably saw already, but it's from the um, from the Pokemon Center. And it's got, like, the call it, like, little decals on the side. Um, it's showing up on yellow on the camera for some reason. It's actually orange, but I absolutely love the um, the decals on these boxes. Look at those awesome Pikachus. But, um, yeah, as you probably saw already, it's the... 25th anniversary golden box so i'm going to be opening this at some point very soon i think i might have one or two of these on the way um let's just try and let's just get it out of the packaging because we're going to be opening all this i think we're keeping one sealed maybe opening one i'm not sure uh, just yet but you you know lots of your favorite pokey tubes have already opened these but i thought i'd you know join the hype train and get the actual there we go just look at that isn't that beautiful the 25th anniversary golden box so the colors are a little off at the moment on my my camera but it's definitely very golden and it just looks absolutely amazing you can see um we can't read unless you can read japanese you won't know what all of that says but um it contains 25th anniversary booster packs the special promo ones play mats and all sorts of other stuff so we're going to be opening that very soon on this channel so you know keep an eye out for that very excited to see that and uh yeah more things from japan so we've got some start deck 100s we're going to open these up at some point because um there's a chance that we can get potentially like a see if we can get the camera to focus we, there's a chance we can get like a god deck um which contains like all full art lots of full art trainers the, the marnie the special marnie that everyone's after um so these decks are basically 100 random decks and you don't know what you're going to get inside the deck and um, there's like the Raikou V, the Entai V, um, the new Full Art Pikachu, Gold, Galarian Moltres V, Articuno and Zapdos. So many awesome things can potentially be inside here. So very excited to open these um, these four um, start decks up for a, for a video at, um, at some point. Down they go there somewhere. <laughs> so yes, and we got some more awesome stuff from Japan. So we've been purchasing lots of singles. Um, from VMAX Climax and some of the other sets. Um, remember to check out my booster box opening. Um, where's my finger? I don't know. It's probably up here somewhere. There we go. Make sure you check out my VMAX Climax booster box opening. We got we got very lucky for our pools. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you some of these cool um, some of these cool things that I bought. So I've just been you know going a bit crazy with the VMAX Climax singles, just because I love the artwork on these character rares. Just <laughs> look. Can we get focus on that one? Ah, come on. There we go. I absolutely just love the artwork on these characters. Oh, there we go. We can actually see them quite well from there. But yeah, um, there's so much nice stuff here. I've um, got a nice Prism Hollow Charmander. Gave that to the lovely Courtney. Um, ooh, right. Some more Charizards. More Peko V Union. Um, let's quickly lay the more Peko V Union out because we don't know when we're going to get this in English. Maybe this will be in a promo box at some point. But 
Unfortunately, we didn't pull the special art one with um, with Marnie, but um, yeah, you can just see there like the more Peko V Union. It's like again, it's like the P two V Union box we opened the other day, but. Yeah, very happy to see the more Pekka V Union. We'll go through these quite quickly. We've got more and more Pekkos. Just like Japanese, awesome Japanese cards. The amazing Rare Rayquaza from Japanese set. The Kanazawa Pikachu um, from the Pokemon Center Japan release. More Charizards from um, from uh, VMAX Climax. Mew and Mewtwo. More Prism from the, tw the 25th anniversary Mew from the... From the box, obviously, very cool. More VMAX Climax. So I just love purchasing cards directly from Japan because you get a much better deal than if you're trying to purchase them from, you know, UK or eBay sellers in the United States or wherever you're based. So if you want to find out, oh, you're over there. If you want to find out how to purchase your own cards directly from Japan, uh, oh, then please also remember to check out my Patreon, um, the Place Get Games Patreon. Click the link in the description, and there's a full Japanese and US buying guide as well. Actually, if you want to, if you're not out from the United States, you want to buy stuff in the US. But yeah, we've seen this before. We pulled this one from our from our um, from our Vmax Climax booster box. I was very happy to see this. So we picked up some more of the Acer Rollers. Um, we got the beautiful Karen um, Umbreon. Um, such a nice little card. Love this, love the art on this card with Karen. We've got a couple of those because Umbreon's super popular. We've got we've got two of the um Calarian Zapdos. I love Sonya just like trying to keep up with her special bike in the background and Zapdos is going boop boop. Like just trying to run away from it. Absolutely amazing. And the full art. I just love the art on this full art Nessa. So I I just yeah. We, we never got a bunch of the cards from GX Tag All Stars, so I thought it'd be a really cool idea to, you know, purchase some of the nice stuff from um VMAX Climax and of course the the Pikachu full art. I think we pulled this one actually from our from our VMAX climate space. We haven't got the VMAX though, the, the VMAX. So yeah, a few other nice bits here. We got Celebi, amazing rare, the shiny Suicune, a couple of Mew VMAXs because they're just really good prices compared to the English ones. So if anyone's a Mew collector, look at the Japanese version. <laughs> 25th anniversary Golden Magic Cup. More Pikachus, more Mewtwo. Yeah, just a bunch of random stuff. So this was the. Um, Rayquaza that we got in our theme deck, the V Battle deck, but this one is the special Japanese version that only came from the promo packs that were given out with Blue Sky Stream and Skyscraping Perfect, the S, like I think it was S7 sets I want to say, so a couple of those promo Rayquazas just because they're a really good price at the moment, um, a few more Charizards, and yeah, just more like cool stuff from... From you know, from 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 more to more awesome Charizard. We don't know whether this one's going to be in Vmax Climax yet, but there's already six other Charizards already confirmed for brief for for sorry for Brilliant Stars. We don't know if any of those are going to be in Brilliant Stars yet. Just I love these Prism foils. They're so nice. But yeah, I just been going a bit crazy with the purchases and. Uh, yeah, I just love the character rares, and I just love VMAX Climax. It's such an amazing set. And I think we even got another booster box as well somewhere, but I have to have to check that another time. So I'm going to put those safely over over there. <laughs> I'm going to leave more Peko V Union in, in the shot just because I love how epic he looks. So there you go. So yeah, once again, if you have all four pieces of these in your discard pile, you can play them down as like you know one as one Pokemon, which is really cool. Okay, won't, won't spend too much time messing around with that. So um, what should we do next? We'll do all of the Japanese stuff first, and we'll finish on the English. So more um, awesome Japanese mails, mail day things from from Japan. Once again, bought directly from Japan using my um, using my buying guides. Um, check out the Patreon. So just. You can't say no to a shining Mew from Korra Korra. There's this, yeah. Can we get it out without causing too much destruction? Um, there we go. Let's do that. We've got our trusty, trusty knife. Right. We'll go as far as to, as to actually, as the shining Mew is a very special case. We'll go. We'll take it completely out of its. Oh, it's in a side loading sleeve. We have to take it out a bit more carefully later. But absolutely love the shining Mew Korra Korra. Very um, iconic card, and always very happy to see to see this in one of my. Mail day videos, yeah. <laughs> so this was only in the Cora Cora magazine, as you probably all rightly know. Um, let's put it, put you over, nya, because you're you're beautiful. You're beautiful, it's true. Right, I have no idea what's in these. So I buy a bunch of stuff from Japan, and then it takes me ages sometimes to open them, and you know, because I need, to, I, I like to show off the videos for filming them and stuff. The packaging is also very, <laughs> packaging is also very weird sometimes. Um, Okay, so I think these might be the special Charizard um, shiny star V things. I don't know. Let's have a, let's have a look. Oh, I hate these little baggies. I really do. Right. Okay. Let's see what we got here. 
So they actually were really nice. They actually included, um, not this one, they actually included the special um, Charizard-like QR code from Shiny Star V. So um, I've seen actually people, oh, up there, I've actually seen people been like grading these. Um, and they've actually been grading these, which is quite cool. So I might actually consider grading that at some point myself, which is, which is quite neat. So I'll put that up there. And what's this going to be? Oh, it's backwards. It's going to be a mystery card. Oh, oh it's a... My screen went blank then, probably because I was talking for too long. <laughs> We've got a nice um, Umbreon promo. I think this is like uh, black and white. This is a black and white Umbreon promo card. So um, I'm not sure the exact release details of this one, but it's quite an old Umbreon. And it's um, it's, a, it's what you can see at the bottom bottom right there, BWP115. So it must be quite a must be quite a nice Umbreon. So I, I, I would have purchased it if I didn't like, fans like it or wanted to you know, add it to... You know, add it to my collection or to get it graded at some point. So, yes. So, this one you can probably see straight from there. They do the classic thing that some of the sellers like to do. They like to stick them inside CD cases. Leave a comment below. Who remembers actually having CD cases? <laughs> so nostalgic. But, yeah, it's the beautiful... Um, oh God, this, they've got double-sided sellotape in there and all sorts. It's the beautiful... Um, Rescue Team DX Pikachu. So, as you can see in the background there, it's got a little Bulbasaur, it's got a um, little Pikachu House of Pelipper. Very popular promo card. We've never got this in English, which makes me sad, but very happy to see um, the Rescue DX Pikachu. Uh, what do we have here? So we've got loads of loads of more packages to get through. Hope everyone's enjoying um, the new overhead camera. Please leave a comment below if you like the camera. Oh, they're teasing us by putting stuff like in the completely the wrong way. Okay. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Ooh. There's two things in here. There's two things in it. Okay, okay. What's going on in here, guys? What's going on in here? Let's find out what's going on. Okay, okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. Have we got it? Have we got it? I don't know what we got. What, what's going on? What's going on? Please be something epic. Oh, hey, it's two chunky boys. So we got the OG kind of like, you know, the OG chunky Pikachu and the, the one where he's been on the die. He's gone on an adventure. So very happy to see... Um, very happy to see more of those, put those safely away. I've been purchasing quite a few of those Pikachu Vs. I just love Pikachu and you, you, like Pikachu's from like 2019, 2018 are doing very well at the moment. Oh, this is just very loosely rattling around in a box. Okay, it's the um, cool little Pikachu um, sort of pro. I think this is like friendly card shop. Yeah, this is the um, friendly card shop Pikachu. So you can see there, got Cubo and the little Hooper in the background. It's very nice. That is promo. 200 SMP, so always happy to see those. So we got some more VMAX Climax stuff here, I think. We can get in here without causing too much destruction and chaos. Right, yeah, I won't take it out of the top loader, but you can see there the beautiful, um, whoop, you can see there the beautiful Gloria of Moltres card, absolutely beautiful 242 character, super rare Moltres V from VMAX Climax. Very happy to, very happy to see that. Right, um, so this will just be another Pikachu, so no need to no need to open that. This though, this, oh my goodness, I am so happy to finally have this in my collection. I completely forgot that I bought this, so I'm very happy to, very happy to get this. So this will be added to my graded collection at some point, because obviously, recently we've had the Pikachu on the ball, you know, the futsal promos. This is like one of the OG football promos, so if we can get some focus on here, you can see how awesome it looks. So you got here the... Um, the Japan Pikachu promo. So this is, you can see Pikachu's got his little um, Japan kind of like football jersey on, and there's a little Adidas logo there from the from the sponsorship. And yeah, it looks really cool. So this is promo number two, 50 from the XY, from the Japanese XY series. And this one looks like it's in really good condition. Obviously, I'm going to keep this in my personal collection. Um, this must have been to coincide 2014. This must have been to coincide with some kind of football tournament of some description. I'm not 100% sure, but. Um, yeah, it's great to see another Pikachu that I don't already have to add to my add to my my burgeoning Pikachu collection. Is that even a word? Burgeoning? Please leave a comment below. Is burgeoning a real word? Um, nice. Another Eevee promo of some description. I have no idea what kind of um, Eevee this is, but it looks really cool. Um, Frozen City, it looks like. Black and white. Yeah, I can see there's a Frozen City in the background. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty snazzy. I do like that. Um, yeah, lots to get through still. So, have you received any awesome mail recently? Um, I probably should have pre-opened some of these to make make this video go a bit quicker, but that's fine. Um, I often don't get to record videos at the moment because I'm so busy, so it's nicer 
finally be able to sit down and relax. Ooh. So I think this one, guys, um, can we get it out of its, is it stuck? Okay, I don't want to damage it. So we'll get, we'll get it out later. But see, so yeah, this is the Skytree Rayquaza. You can see there the Pokemon Center. So that was a, I think this was given out um, in 2016. Wow. This was given out in 2016 for the opening of the Pokemon Center Skytree, I want to say. And it's got shiny Rayquaza on it. You can see there's a little, you know, Pikachu riding on Rayquaza there. So that's a, the same. The statue is actually in of the Pikachu and Rayquaza is actually in the Pokemon Center. So, yeah, very happy to um, very happy to get this. Um, yeah, I just, I just, I just like, and I love the the sort of prism, sort of cracked ice, kind of like hollow foil um, going on, going on there. I think I just, I just thought it looks really neat. I really like that. So it's not Magic the Gathering. There's, there's a lot of Japanese sellers. They like to use um, other card games to kind of like sandwich their cards um, for packaging. So I have no idea like what's inside here. Hopefully it's nothing too valuable. Because, <laughs> yeah, so I was going a bit crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, can we get in there? They actually put, do not, so hot tip, do not ever put tape on your sleeves. Because um, people get really annoyed by that. Do not put use tape. You make sure you can tape on the top loader. But even then I don't like doing that. Oh, okay, okay. So this is neat. So those are just some Magic the Gathering cards. What What is inside? Are they just lands? Oh wow, they're like... Oh. Be really sure. They're like Japanese Magic the Gathering cards. That's cool. But um, yeah, this is the Hooper. Um, this is the Hooper movie promo. So you can see there's a Rayquaza in the background there. There's a Hooper. There's a Pikachu. There's a Latios. I absolutely love this card. I had no idea this even existed until I found it the other day when I was doing a database of like um, Japanese promos and stuff. And you know, this this is absolutely beautiful. I, I didn't realize we never got this card in English either. So I really I picked up a few of these. I think. Um, I think this was given out as a pre-purchase, so you can see in the bottom there, Hooper and the Clash of Ages, I think that movie is. Um, Japanese XY Promo 155, I just really like this. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a Pikachu full art in a way, because it features Pikachu, but then you've got Rayquaza in the background, you've got Latios, and you've got the Hooper as well, which is really nice. I, I really like that card. So we might actually have more of those in here somewhere, I need to see. So this person has used a bit of sponge to... This person needs a bit of sponge to keep the card safe. So let's see what's inside Nya. So this is another... <laughs> it's more Pikachus. Okay, okay. I think we probably have enough of the Pikachu V now from from VMAX Climax. Um, it's not going to focus anyway. So yeah. But let's put you up. Oh, I'll put you... I'll put you over to Nya because I've got, I want to keep the nicer cards that I've seen. Only a couple of... Okay, so what do we have in here? Okay, so this is a bit better. You put using cardboard to keep stuff safe. But then... Ooh... It's got the most biggest top loader possible. Look at this. Look at the size of this top loader, guys. Look how big this top loader is in comparison to the card. Oh, it's the 25th anniversary Charizard. Let's go. <laughs> so, I don't like the sleeve they put it in. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yes. Shine like a star. Yeah, so my camera's definitely a bit too... The white balance is a bit too high at the moment, but that's fine. Um, beautiful Charizard 25th anniversary promo. Looks to be in amazing. I say promo. It was inside those promo packs. So this wasn't in the 25th anniversary booster box. You had to open those special little red, those red and white packs to get the um, to get the Charizard and the other classic collection cards in Japanese. So very happy to um, pick up another another classic collection Charizard to add to the add to the Virgin collection. So that's all of the Japanese. But we have some amazing English things to show you. So. Got some mail here. I don't know what's inside the mail. It might, might mostly just be trainer cards and stuff that I purchased for my decks and stuff. Um, so we'll get through this stuff quite quickly. We got here um, some yep, some nice movies, Genesex um, for decks and you know future tournaments because obviously the tournaments are potentially resuming soon. So I'm um, gonna need lots of movies and Genesex and stuff for that deck, movie deck, movie match decks. Very very strong. Highly would recommend it. Um, right. I think these will just be a bunch of trainer cards. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got trainer cards. Yeah, training courts. I ran out of training courts, so I thought I'd purchase some more training courts. Sounds good. Most of this mail is not going to be that exciting, but we've got some more awesome English things to show you. Yeah, it's just some more cherums, I think. Um, oh, no, that was a bonus cherum. Um, I needed the Dust Noir from <laughs> the Dust Noir from Vivid Voltage because it's a really good anti-control card. Yeah, just going through these piles. I don't know what if this code was redeemed, but have a Chilling Rain code card if anybody... If anybody so desperately um, wants a chilling rain code card, uh, what do we have here? So yeah, more, some more like playable things: uh, Geraldon, Muse, Hoopers, Elisa Sparkle. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just opening these ones on camera just in case there's anything really, really awesome inside there. I think this is the same seller. They've used the code card again to... Um, it must be chilling. Maybe it's chilling rain as well. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just more stuff for decks and things that I need. Um, yeah, more. I don't know why there's more trading courts in here, but like hoopers and things like that. Averys. Yeah, I was short on Averys. That makes sense. Very good in Duraludon, Avery. Um, what do we have from the R? Okay. So another one. Are these all good? I think these might mostly just be training cards. But yeah, there are some really epic things to come. And obviously we're going to be opening these to um, Fusion Strike Booster Packs right at the end of the video as well. So make sure you stick around for that. Quite a long Pokey post, but there have been quite a lot to get through. Today. I think so far my favourite thing is the, um, the Football Pikachu card, actually. Right. Meloetters. Okay, I thought I had Meloetters already. I don't know why I purchased more. That's fine. Okay. So, uh, as you guys may or may not know, I also sell a lot of stuff on eBay and Card Market. So, if you want to get your own single cards for your decks, movies, Genesex, and so forth, click the link below and head to the Card Market store. Um, and also the eBay. There's some singles on eBay, but it's it's mostly PSA and eBay. I do have a few like battle styles things on eBay though. Right. Um, car market is awesome. Highly recommend car market. Ah, oh, big shout out to. I'm gonna put your name here. I'm so bad with names. Big shout out to this person. <laughs> I finally got an Easter Pikachu for my collection because I thought Easter Easter is coming up soon, and, and probably the price of the Easter Pikachu tends to go up a little bit around Easter time for obvious reasons because nobody thinks to buy an Easter Pikachu in January. So, yeah, here we go. So this, um, so this was 2017. Now, wow. So. 2017 um you would get these little egg-shaped booster packs and you had like a low chance to pull this um exclusive pikachu hollow you can see there it even says pikachu's easter it's got that little stamp on the right hand side 55 smp so this is like a hundred dollars plus 100 plus dollars now it's absolutely crazy this card um yeah it's, it's probably in good condition um but yeah very happy to finally get the um, Easter Pikachu, thank you so much again for that, um, the person I, name I put there. Let's put you, nya. let's put you, nya. I love, really love the Easter Pikachu. So that's going to go into my personal collection, obviously. So it was worth opening this other mail, because we did have something, well, at least one epic thing that wasn't just, you know, playable trainer cards to show you lovely people. Okay, and there is this as well. Um, there is a beautiful, um, first edition Slow King Hollow as well. So I take, take a, take a good look at that. There's a desk a bit of a mess now, but that's fine. Nice first edition Sloking Hollow. There's lots of scratches on the Hollow. I kind of kind of expected that, but um, yeah, it's probably like PSA five six condition. I might have overpaid slightly for it, but that's fine. Um, it's always nice to see a first edition Hollow card from Wizards of the Coast back in the day. So that's always a hot tip. Make sure um, you know when someone's sending you first edition cards. Make sure you are checking videos. Look out for Hollow scratches because. I was expecting closer to like a um, 7 or 8 on that card, but it's definitely going to be like a 5 or 6. So yeah, make sure you keep an eye out for that. Um, what do we... So they've got the McDonald's um, the McDonald's like promo packs inside here, but I don't know don't know what actually this is. It's, and again, they've used Magic the Gathering cards to to kind of keep the stuff safe. Um, yeah, I've, I'm really committed now to show you guys whatever's inside here, because this just packaging is absolutely a nightmare. So let's see if we can figure it out. Um, of course... Do not ever use tape. I don't know where it must be. Just these people that like Magic the Gathering. Maybe they just like to use tape on sleeves and Magic the Gathering more. I don't know. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's cut through there. Let's at least see one of them, just so we can get a rough idea. Okay. So they're just going to be some more useful, more useful cards for decks and stuff, energies and stuff. I'm not going to bother with the other one. So what's inside here? Let's find out. Right. Okay. Oh, so lovely man um, sent me. These promo octillaries, I thought it would just be quite cool to... I can't actually remember what's inside the octillary battle styles deck. So we'll actually open them up now and see. Do we get another non holo octillary in here? I presume there's at least one Remoraid. So let's find out. So there's the um, the cool octillary sort of promo card, which is which is nice. Put you up in your... And we got um, some hops. Um, so yeah, one non holo octillary, which is nice. Um, got Mian Shao. Level balls are really good. And some non hollow Cheras and non hollow Tabby Bullets. So actually, overall, that's actually quite a decent little pre-release pack. So very happy with that. And, uh, yeah, last bit of mail. Probably nothing too crazy. But then I'm going to show you some more awesome English things that I purchased. 
And uh, yeah, okay. So this is a some Saber Live Eats. I think I needed another one of these for my decks. So I thought I'd pick up um, two copies just in case, um, you know, Saber Live got a bit more crazy. So yeah, so I'll clear up this stuff and then I'll show you the last bit of English things before we open those two Fusion Strike booster packs. So I bought these again directly from the United States um, from eBay sellers. If you want to find out how to, you know, buy things from the United States um, quite easily, please check out my Patreon. So... I absolutely love these um, promo babies. So the 143A Cosmic Eclipse um, alternate art babies. They are just super popular. We never we never got this product, the Small But Mighty Premium Collection. Uh, click the link above if you want to see me open that. We never got this product in English. So these, these go for a lot more. And I mean a lot more in the UK than they do in the United States. You can get these on eBay sometimes for like 15, 12, 15 to 20 dollars in the United States. They're like north of 50 in the United Kingdom. So very happy to get a few more of these um, Togepi, Clever and Igly Buff cards. Um, which are really awesome. And picked up some more. I think these are just have a couple of these Charizard promos in it. Again, we opened that box. Um, if I can remember, put link, click link to show that. So I think there's two of the Reshiram and Charizard, which is really nice. In the UK, these have a lot of centering issues and like issues with indents and stuff. But from a, from a quick glance, like they, these ones look quite nice. So I'm quite happy to get these and potentially just add them to the the never-ending stack of things that need to be um, need to be graded. So with PSA until the cheaper services reopen. So yeah, very happy to. Very happy to see those, and yeah, nice Umbreon and Darkrai promo. Oh, can we focus? Because obviously, these this is the OG Altar Umbreon card um, from the GX Tag Team era. So very happy to get another one of these. Always still super popular. Um, so yeah, it's more another another baby. Two more babies. Where where? So we got Samzenta V. I think these are just a, these. I think these are just freebies and a nice birthday Pikachu. Just because why not? I absolutely love birthday Pikachu. And yeah, so now we're going to finish off by opening these two booster packs. Please remember to leave a comment below. This Poke Post is absolutely insane. Twenty seven plus minutes. Thank you so much for um, sticking through here. If you're watching, please leave a comment below if you actually are still watching. And yeah, I'll try and sort out the. Um, uh, I'll try and sort out the extra lighting and stuff. That this this lighting's quite a challenge in here, but I will try and sort out. Please let me know if you enjoy like the new style of videos where we are kind of just like have the overhead camera and stuff. Um, yeah, I quite enjoy it. Um, it's more relaxed. I'm by my desk, so I don't have to transfer things from one room to the other. But it just means my desk can get a lot more messier with all of the posts and things that I have to open over the next couple of weeks. But yeah, the main thing is now we've got a face cam, so you can see when you see my face when I get charged. I go oh. Oh, the Charizard, oh my god! <laughs> Wide mouth, open mouth thumbnail, just because, you know, just because, why not? Okay, and then also, you know, is, we're in a good position now for when we need to do, like, live streams and stuff, so always happy to do that, yeah. So, yeah, please leave a comment below. Have you received anything epic in the mail recently? Uh, I love the, um... I love the artwork on the Kamoi on the Simacia. Really cool. One of my favourite artists. As many of you rightly know. Shelda, nice Aretha Caterpie. Love that one as well. Shinx, Grubbing, Landorus, and a Glaring Obstagoon Hollow. I actually bought more of these the other day, so <laughs> it's quite funny to see that. But yeah, it's not all about this stuff. There's some really epic things here, but obviously my favourite thing has to be the Korean Pikachus. Big shout out once again to Camillo for these. Please leave a comment below. What do you think of the Pokepass? What's your favourite thing? Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yes, I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. You gotta catch them all. A huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q&As with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. You gotta catch them all.